What's her name? Your daughter. Eleanor. Well, Ellie. That explains the elephants. Tell me more about this Ellie. I think it's best if we stick to your story. Please. Did you have a good relationship with your own father? Define good. Would throwing him down a flight of stairs be considered good, or... What if it was after I caught him beating my mother half to death? How do you know my daughter? She never mentioned me, huh? She had a lot to say about you. California's best psychiatrist. You turn your own daughter into fodder for another book. She was an addict, Patrice. Ellie the Junkie was a black mark on Mommy's career. You're as vain as you're accusing me of being. You waited too damn long to address the problem! You don't really give a fuck about her. And who the hell are you to decide what's right and wrong? You think they're the same? Your David and my David? No. They are different. At least, that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> you are that. This is your wife. We wanted to build a building that stood out in a world of global buildings. What are all the things we could do to make this building a Los Angeles building? Couldn't be done anyplace else. Not just to be different, but to give a vitality to the city and the skyline. The great engineers that I love working with come up with ideas that we've never heard of before. And on Wilshire Grand, we have some solutions that we had no idea we were going to get into. We took a look at the structure and like, how can we get this done and maintain this design and maintain the whole concept. This building is a 10. It's by far the most complicated building I've ever done. It makes me feel proud to be an engineer. I mean, it's really an amazing accomplishment. Quite a phenomenal piece of engineering and architecture. It's been 30 years, but I've thought about that day in this cabin every single day since. This is where you took it. I've been haunted. This camera sees through you. Beneath your skin. Inside. You must have brought me here for a reason. Something to do with the picture? Did you bring it? 
You want to see what you made of me? People are talking, Amanda. The drugs, the deaths. All press is good press, isn't that what they say? People can't help. You're so beautiful. That's why I took your picture. That's not a picture, Beatrix. Not really. Not anymore. What did you wish for? My wish was to be your picture. You can't grow old. Forever. I can't do this anymore. Everything will be okay, honey. No! Everything will not be okay! Why me? Last <laughs> 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 Tu fais quoi dans la vie Je suis détective privé. Oh, C'est génial, ça Non, vraiment pas, non. Les services de sécurité recherchent activement le terroriste Bullock et ses adeptes. Ils sont un gros poisson, là. Quand j'aurais touché la prime, on se casserait d'ici. Tu cherches Bullock Tout le monde cherche Bullock. Moi, je vais le trouver. Ton devis, bon, dit. Ça passera pas, c'est trop cher. C'est le même tarif que d'habitude. Mais son tarif était de la quantité, comme tout le monde. Sans déconner. Le mec laisse des traces numériques partout. Tout le désigne. Mais ma cause de 12 ans, verra que c'est un complot. Putain, mon dieu, mais tu veux en venir où là Je te demande juste de faire une suspension de jugement, s'il te plaît. Tu ne comptes pas sur moi pour te recommander après ça. Ferme ta gueule, et tu rentres dans le rang. Tu vas me saquer Andy Maxwell. Je vais te détruire, tu m'entends Je vais te détruire, putain That's my boy's signature from the last Father's Day card he gave me. Thank you.
I was physically, mentally, emotionally, and verbally assaulted on a day-to-day -day basis for my perceived sexual orientation. My name was not Eric, but Faggot. I was stalked, spit on, ostracized, and physically assaulted. I actually thought I was going to kill myself. Like, I just couldn't, I just wouldn't want to leave, you know? Getting bullied is really hard. Him being our president, the task of teachers and parents has become really challenging. Abusing the power that they have to put other people down. But if you are made fun of, you just don't, don't let it bother you. Stay strong, I guess. It's hard. But it'll probably get better one day. We don't even have a heart to hold anymore. Our heart is in the ground. I would give anything, do anything, to try to keep this, to prevent, to prevent this from happening to another family. Once upon a time, in a very ordinary cottage, lived the most extraordinary woman, who was everything less than boring. Benny is our last hope to keep our family name alive. He is the last Rodriguez in our family. I'm the last Rodriguez. We thought, my mom and I, I thought that this would be the best opportunity to find love. That's what I think, right? So Ben, what do you look for in a woman? Oh, it's where I start. Um, okay, well, uh, she has to be nice, female, Oh, no one white. I'm sorry, but you know what I mean. And no one black, no Chinese, or those other kind that are like the Chinese. Uh, basically, I just want someone, you know, who can take me seriously as a person and let me express myself. So. <gasps> Bernardo? Hi, Bella. I'm Bella. You're ben Bernardo. Today just felt like a dog eye day, you know? I think so. What's that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Now that is a side of Ben we have never seen. You don't want me to go out on all these dates. I'm just doing what you wanted. All no right, problem. okay. I got this. Just let me get it. No, no, but yeah, I, 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 my hands are ready. I get the I, I'm, I'm actually 5'5", five five, so depending on the country, I'm mm -hmm. average height. Yeah, this isn't going to work for us. <laughs> <laughs> That's like nine things we have in common. I also get in nine things. He's funny. He's kind. I think he's the kind of guy that I could see myself starting a family with. Of course he's gonna mess this one up. I, I get my... <gasps>